Welcome back once again to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Sadam Hussain here. We continue with the employment chapter part two. Today we'll discuss a few more questions. Since the chapter is so big, we divided this chapter into three parts. If you have not watched the first part, I'll advise you definitely watch it. Now we'll discuss today, what we're discussing about is uh, what exactly is employment? Employment is, uh, so this is in simple term, in layman's language, we all do some activity or the other that to, for earning a livelihood, that's employment. Any work, a laborer is working, a doctor is working in a hospital, a teacher is teaching in a school, and someone is working for the government of India, that's all employment. What do they do this? Why do they do this? To earn a livelihood. So we can divide employment into two parts. One is self-employment and one is wage employment. What exactly is self-employment? There are some people, they do on their own, they work on their own, self-employed people. This can be a doctors practicing, uh, opening a clinic at their own home, or a teacher giving tuitions or running a coaching center, or a lawyer practicing from his own home. These are the self-employed people. They provide all the four factors of production themselves. What are these? Land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur, and they make their livelihood. This is self-employed people. This can be doctors sitting at home and practicing. This can be lawyers. This can be small shopkeepers. This can be small farmers. And this can be anyone working on its own and providing all the resources himself. That is self-employed. And the next one is wage employment. What exactly is wage employment? There are some people, they work for other people. For example, some people are working in the government of India. They are called employees. The people who engage them, they are called employers. For example, we discussed a doctor practicing at home, he's a self-employed. If the same doctor is working for Apollo Hospital, we call him as an employee. That is called wage employment. If a teacher is teaching at home, that is called, we call it as self-employed. If he's working in some school, we call it as or he is an employee of the school and the school is an employer. The school provides him wages. That's wage employment. Now, self-employed people in the total workforce, we have somewhat like 52% of the total workforce. 52% in India are self-employed. And under wage employment, the remaining 48% are wage employed. They're working somewhere or other. Again, wage employment, we can divide into two, regular workers and casual workers. For, for the regular workers, they are permanently employed. A doctor is permanently working in Apollo Hospital. Or someone is working in the government of India, maybe central government or the state government. Or someone is working in a law firm. So these are regular workers. So what benefits the regular worker gets? They get a lot many benefits. Number one, they get pension. Number two, they get a lot of social security, that is insurance. They get provident fund, PPF we call it. Social security benefits, they get it. And the second one is casual labor. Who is a casual labor? A casual labor is one who works when there is any job. Maybe during the rainy season or harvesting season, these are the casual laborers, they work. Or maybe in factories, when there is a workload, they invite them to work. They, so casual laborers, casual laborers do not have the benefits like regular workers. Because they don't get insurance facilities, they, got, uh, they don't get pensions, they don't get any other kinds of benefits what the regular workers get. I hope you got it. I repeat once again. So that is who is a worker. The worker is one who is doing some job, some activity or the other to earn a livelihood. 
That means they are contributing something to the GDP of the country. We can divide the workers into two categories. Number one is self-employed people. Self-employed are those who provide all the four factors of production. All the resources, land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship and they work for themselves. This can be doctors, this can be lawyers, this can be teachers, this can be small shopkeepers, this can be farmers. And the second one is wage employment. Wage employment is you are working with some organization, maybe the government of India or a hospital or a school. Wage employment is again divided. There are two kinds of workers. They are regular workers who are regularly working for the job. They get a lot of benefits like pensions, insurance and casual laborers. They work casually only when there is a job and then they are terminated. They are thrown out. They don't get all these benefits. What percentage of the workforce we have that is 18% of the workforce uh, is regular workers and the remaining 13%, 30% they are working as casual labor up to 48. What exactly is jobless growth? Jobless growth means there is acceleration of GDP. It means GDP of the country is increasing. The production of goods and services are increasing the economy. There is tremendous economic activities are taking place but the employment is not increasing in the country that's exactly is called jobless growth jobless you may be wondering why the employment rate is not increasing if gdp is increasing maybe we are using latest technology where we don't need much laborers we don't need many laborers maybe the machines were able to do with the help of machines that's jobless growth that's a small question jobless growth means increase in gdp without a corresponding increase in the increase in employment we go to the next question that's pretty simple one more question in this chapter mind it all these notes is given in the description box please take that notes from there write it down in your notebook and copy it down don't forget to share, subscribe and like our videos. They will really help you for exams. And one more question in this video. What is the difference between formal or organized sector in the employment? And the next one we have informal or unorganized sector. What exactly is formal or organized sector? Under formal or organized sector, we have all the units it may be public sector undertakings public sector units may be private sector units may be a factory may be an office may be anything may be a hospital may be a law firm what exactly is formal or organized sector in the formal uh, if there are more than 10 laborers working then we call it as a formal sector more than 10 laborers that's the bottom line so this can be a hospital this can be a government enterprise this can be public sector enterprise this can be private sector enterprise if there are more than 10 laborers we call it in india we have seven percent of the workforce is working in the organized sector a formal sector what are the benefits of working in this sector this sector is provided by the government you can the laborers or the employees working in the sector can have labor laws they get the social security they get pensions when they retire they get other benefits such as provident fund public provident fund and they may get other benefits and they can form their own trade unions and fight for their rights that is a formal or organized sector what is an informal sector or which is not organized in this sector they cannot i mean in this sector this can be small shopkeepers this can be small offices this can be small uh, or maybe a clinic where there are less than 10 laborers that's the bottom line less than 10 laborers that is informal sector unorganized what do you have in this sector you can't have labor laws you can't have trade unions and uh, you don't have any security you don't have any social security they don't provide you provident fund they won't provide you pensions they don't provide you any kind of insurance that's about formal and informal organized unorganized sector 
90% of the workforce in India work under informal sector. That's all guys we have for this short video. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like our videos. Till we meet next time, work hard. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.